Can you see every 21st century student achieving their goals and accomplishing their dreams? Did you know about the abuse, neglect, and household dysfunction that limits some of them? Students at risk to graduate high school face a higher possibility of substance abuse, depression, suicidal thoughts, unplanned pregnancy, and lifelong health conditions that reduce their quality of life. The education system continues to disregard this marginalized group, then we are at risk of allowing an era of traumatized students to suffer alone. Imagine sitting in class trying to understand why 5x minus 3 equals 12. Your stomach starts to rumble. You're fighting the urge to close your eyes. Are you purposefully disregarding this lesson? Or did you get three hours of sleep and no dinner because of the domestic abuse that occurred in your home last night? You know, Special education programs and English language learner programs both have federally mandated accommodations, but there are no mandates for trauma-informed care programs. Even though in 1975, the United States Congress passed the Education for All Handicapped Children Act, stating that it was unconstitutional and unnecessary to segregate students with disabilities. Now, when we expel and suspend students, thereby forcing them into alternative learning centers, how is this not an act of segregation for students with physical, mental, and behavioral limitations caused by trauma? If we were to give a voice to the graduates that were at risk to find out the resources that help them to attain their diploma, we could utilize those nationwide. So I interviewed 16 graduates that were at risk to find out their personal, academic, and post-secondary supports that they received to help them graduate. Project-based learning was brought up 46 times, understanding staff 97 times, and student-centered learning 120 times. These students wanted freedom to use their interests to guide their learning. They wanted structures to understand their preferred learning approaches and they needed flexibility with their schedules to accommodate work, family situations and self-care needs. It is time that we design strategies to reduce the limitations so these students have the information required to be productive members of society. Can you see every 21st century student achieving their goals and accomplishing their dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Amber.